this movie, I feel, first, I feel like it's Singapore hot right now. Yeah. Like, it's like, this is a real deal. Yeah, although it's hot, it's like this was meant to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, we shot this a year ago, and here we are a year later doing this all together. I'm here in L.A. talking to you again and, like, kind of sharing this with the world. This is, unlike any other movie, this is, I don't think of myself in this movie at all. This is bigger than us. Yeah. This is about, about my wife, Tran. This is about my kids. This is about whole future you know, of Asians who want to see themselves represented on the screen. Yeah. I want my kids to see, not their own man, but to see just people who look like them. The, yeah, I want them to see themselves. Yeah. And you know, as I get older, you know, that's what I care about even more than me. It was, it was I'm, I want to say encouraging, but it's, it's, a, there's, it's a, there's a different word, impactful. Yeah, to it, be able to see uh, actors on screen who weren't the sidekick. Right. They weren't the uh, comic relief. They weren't the wonder, wonder uh, uh, dimensional um, uh, added on. You're so right. You it's I mean? John Chu call. It's more than a movie. It's a movement. Yeah. There's something deeper. And while we've been on this press tour, like me and Aquafina and Nico Santos, we've been to Toronto and Miami and of course L.A. It's emotional. Yeah. And it's not just for the Asian American community. We're in Miami with the Latino community. It was emotional yeah. and Miami might have been my favorite spot to go because you know we're, we're, this this movie totally crosses cultural barriers you know it, it really does we cross say, we say it's for the culture you it's know what for I'm saying the culture yeah man I'm stealing that dog <laughs> you got it baby I'm stealing it I mean not for me for the movement I'm stealing it <laughs> okay speaking of I feel like the characters the actors are sexy yeah which like it ain't never a bad look you yeah. know what I'm saying so when you see this how would you caption this Vanity Fair photo? Look at that. First of all, I see them. This is this is gorgeous. Henry and Gemma are like equally equally gorgeous. Yeah. Now that I got that out of the way, <laughs> why was I not invited for this photo shoot? I maybe you were busy. Be, I was busy. No, I was very available, and I, was, I and I kept telling Vanity Fair guys, I rented a hotel right near where you're shooting. And I said, just cause I wanted two limos, one for me and one for my other chin. And I said, they were like, no, we're gonna bump on that. I'm like, okay, okay. for the movement, I'll support it. Me and my chins will support this. For now. For now, when the sequel comes out. You better get me a vanity fair. Yeah, you better get me like a huge photo, a huge ass photo. I feel like Speaking of Aquafina, I feel like she's having a real breakout moment. You know what I mean? She's gonna be one of those names people are saying, like they said, Tiffany Haddish. Do you know what I mean? What do you What do you think it is about her that that makes her so appealing? Well, we become really close friends, and I play her father in the movie, and I feel like her film father in real life. Man, I am so proud of her. There is no one in entertainment like her, not just Asian. There is no one who is like, you're talking about an amazing hip hop artist, an amazing comedic actor, an amazing actress, and an amazing person who, she is a role model to my girls. They like love her. And she is the real deal. So I, I'm beyond proud of her. I mean, I, whenever, I tell. yeah, whenever she gets anything, when I'm reading about her, I'm like, I'm always texting her like proud, like Pop, Papa Fina in the house.